Hi everyone, welcome back. If you like these nails and you want to see how I created them, just keep watching. Right, so Madame Glam have a new, like, it's a new bundle. It's a, it's a, I think it's called a super cat eye bundle. And there are six cat eye gels in the bundle. And I'm going to show you them later on in the video, but we're going to use them today. I'm going to use Stardust Glitter, Vanilla Frosting from, these are from Nail Sugar. And I am going to apply these over. Right, I wanted a silver base, a silver color base. I was initially going to use like a gray, but I thought, no, I'll use the silver. So I'm going to apply this to all four of our nails and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp. When that comes out, it's going to have a tacky layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of scooping the glitter up with my brush and I'm popping it on the nail and then I'm going to rub it into that tacky layer and this is called burnishing and the glitter is going to sit nice and flat and we're going to get this nice hollow hollow look so the reason i wanted the silver underneath is because if any if there are any gaps in the glitter you would just see the silver gel polish though the the gel polish would probably need two coats to be fair but i think it covered really nicely look it looks so nice oh it's so pretty so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna rub off as much of the glitter as i can and then i will carry on and do the same thing on all four of the other nails then i'm gonna use my base coat and i'm gonna go over the top of this with a small amount of like a nice thin coat of base coat and what i do is i will look at my brush just to make sure there's no glitter on it before i put it back into my bottle if there is i just wipe the brush on the end of the brush on some of my kitchen towel before i pop it back in the lamp because i don't want to contaminate it and then what i do was um i cure the base coat but I slightly under cure it. I think I cure it for about 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna take the vanilla frosting glitter and I'm gonna dab that into that part cured base coat. So again, it's gonna have a tacky layer and the gel polish is gonna sit into it nicely. So we're gonna do that again on all of the nails and then I will cure it for like the last 10 seconds. So these are the gel polish colors. This one's called Yellow Diamond. I'm gonna show you the picture on the screen of it. I haven't actually done the line. You know, people do the cat eye with the line. I like to do, I like to wiggle my magnet around the edge of the nails. I don't know what it is, it's just me. It's just what I like to do. Can't remember what this one was called. <laughs> I missed it totally. <laughs> um, but this is a gorgeous kind of icy mint, and like an icy minty green is it is that what you call it i don't know um citrine obsession this is a really nice copper color uh, see and also these would look really nice just painted on the nails even without seeing a magnet like even if you don't put a magnet near them near them near them these colors are just really nice this is ruby madness this is a a ready pink or a pinky red oh i nearly yawned then Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. And then this next one is Sapphire Love. Yeah, Sapphire Love. And this is a gorgeous blue. I like this one. This might be my favorite out of the whole collection. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, and then I think this is the last one. This one is called Jade Dream. I couldn't get this one open, so I just had to skip forward a bit then. Um, but you can save 30% on Madame Glam's website using my code NATMUG30. I think this bundle is already discounted, so the discount code might not work, but you can give it a try. Right, so I have actually matte top coated the nails because I thought it would be easier to paint on the flowers. So I'm using Madame Glam's No Wipe no it's not no white top coat madam glam's white gel paint and using my detailer brush we are just going to draw on our flower now this is a really easy flower it's quite a big one so we're going to have it coming off of the nail and it's the kind of flower that i would have drawn as a kid i when i was younger i always had a pen and a bit of paper in my hand i was always drawing or doodling and this is the kind of thing i would have doodled every day <laughs> 
just like a really simple flower is quite yeah make the petals nice and nice and big so that you can fill them with the gel polish as well because that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to take that bit off of the nail and then i think i've done it on the top as well did i i don't know and then what i'm going to do is on this nail i'm going to add one more flower coming off the nail um obviously slightly further down the nail and coming off the other side on the other three nails i do one coming off the top one coming off the bottom and then i do the same like i've done on this nail but the flowers are like for instance the flower on this nail that i've done top right would be top left and then the one on the other the bottom one would be instead of being bottom left it would be bottom right does that that makes sense i think that makes sense <laughs> If it doesn't, you'll see what I mean in a minute because, yeah, I'm going to show you the nail. So, uh, yeah, right. The gel paints as well. Actually, you you might notice in my previous videos, I have said that Madame Glam's gel polishes cure in 30 seconds. If you look on the back of their newer gel polish bottles, it does actually say they need 60 seconds in an LED lamp now. It's probably because... Their formula might have changed slightly, I'm not sure, but their, um, some of their older gel polishes I don't think were like the 21 free or however many free they are. And some of the older ones might not be HEMA free as well. I don't know if that's why the, I don't know, I don't know if that's why it's changed. But um, on the newer bottles you'll notice that they need now 60 seconds, which does make me a little bit sad because I love a 30 second cure because it's quick and I'm impatient. <laughs> However, it's not the end of the world. So what I'm doing is I've put some of each of the different colors of the cat eye gel polishes on my palette. And I'm going to fill in each petal. You can do it all at once or you can do it individually, depending on how fussy you are about how you want the, the pigment to look, right? And so I've taken my, my magnet to it. If you're not happy with how that looks... You can just brush over it again and this kind of like resets the pigment so if you do like a full nail and then you take your pigment to your magnet to it but you're not happy with where the pigment is if you take the brush from the bottle just wipe it back over the nail and then you can just start again with the magnet it's really easy that's what I kind, I kind of like that about magnet I kind of like that about magnetic gel polishes. Right, then, because I was happy with that one, I've just flash cured it. And then I'm going to start on the next petal. So doing it this way, there we go, it's obviously going to take up much more time. See, I'm doing each individual petal. So if it just depends on what look you want to get or how you want the... the you, don't, you don't have to do it this way at all. You just You don't have to do it this way. I'm just weird. Clearly, I've got time to waste. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I wish I did. Could you imagine? <gasps> anyway, these last two, I'm going to do both at the same time because at this point, I was already feeling impatient. And then just wiggle the wiggle, 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 wiggle and then throw it in the lamp for a full cure. And then I'm going to start, actually you don't have to full cure it yet, I'm going to start on the bottom one. This time I'm using this citrine one. It's a gorgeous colour. Right, I'm going to finish that nail, that, sorry, that flower. And then I'm going to do the same thing on all the others. And I haven't done them all yet, but the middle of each flower, I'm going to use the goldy yellow colour, which I can't remember what it was. They're not even in front of me, so I can't look. I don't know where I've put them. But the yellow, because you know like daisies are like white with the yellow inside. I just thought that yeah, we just make all of them yellow on the inside. And this is me just doing the last one. I thought I'd keep this in even though you've just seen me do it. But what the heck, we might as well just finish a whole nail together. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about making my videos too long because I think they're going to be extremely boring. And then on the other hand, I think that maybe I should make longer videos because some people might like longer videos. I just don't know that I could stretch certain videos to that, you know, to that length because without boring the heck out of people. But anyway, right. 
I've cured those and then I am now going to glossy top coat these so this is where that holographic glitter and that iridescent glitter comes to life if vanilla frosting isn't on the website have a look under the glitter bundles I don't know if there's an actual a, a separate section but vanilla frosting is part of the Candyland collection so I don't know that you'll be able to buy it separately but you might be able to but you'll have to have a look uh, yeah but it's a really nice collection anyway Oh, it was, used to be one of my faves. It, oh, I mean, it still is one of my favourites. But anyway, I love this part because the glitter comes to life. And it just, just makes the nails look lovely. I love iridescent glitter on top of hollow. I think it just, it just, I think it looks really nice. There we go. So they're going to go into the lamp for 30 seconds. This is then done. If you liked these, you might also like these. There we go. I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.